Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cool homemade rainbows. For the first one, we need to place three glasses or plastic cups in a row and fill them with water. Then add some red food colouring in the first, yellow in the second and blue in the third one and give them all a mix. Then add two more empty glasses in between. Next, take a sheet of kitchen paper and fold it over to make a strip. We're going to need four all together and place them in the glasses like this. Then just leave them to see what happens. This footage has been sped up so you can see how the kitchen paper absorbs the coloured water. It goes over the loop and down into the empty glass. And over the next hour or two, the empty glasses start to fill up until they're all at the same level. And we've made this beautiful, lovely rainbow effect of colours between the glasses. The yellow and red have made an orange colour and the blue and yellow have mixed into a very dark green. You can lay the papers out onto a plate to see the colour gradients. Or display them end to end like this. And we're left with these five amazingly vibrant coloured glasses of liquid. For this one I took red, yellow and blue plasticine and made orange, green and purple or violet. To make the green I just mixed together the yellow and blue and we get green. The orange was made by mixing red and yellow and the purple is a mix of blue and red. To make our rainbow I took some of the red and rolled it out into a long thin worm like this. Then I did the same with the orange, yellow, green, blue and purple so we've got something that looks like this. Next take a drinking glass, place it down in front of the plasticine and start forming a rainbow by wrapping each of the colours around the glass like this. You can use a bowl instead of a glass if you want a bigger rainbow. Press them all softly together and use a knife to cut them level. For a stand I'm using some green which I'm moulding around the base at each end. And there's our plasticine rainbow. It looks fantastic and it's really fun to make. If you want to you can also make them like this out of fondant icing and use it to decorate a cake. For the next one we need a large pack of multicoloured crayons. And if they've got paper on we need to peel this off. You might find it easier to put a slice down the side with a knife. We need to lay all the crayons down in a rainbow spectrum of colour going from red through to violet. Then we're going to fix them to the top of this piece of paper using a glue gun. Next I printed out this silhouette of a figure holding an umbrella and I cut it out with scissors. I left some of the white for strength. I applied some glue to the back and stuck it to the paper. And I also stuck the paper down onto some cardboard with some masking tape. Then I stood it up against the wall and used plasticine to stop it sliding forward. I found a saucer the same size as the umbrella which I'm going to hold over the top so it doesn't get covered and I'm using a hairdryer to melt the crayons. Shortly after you heat them up you should see them starting to drip and make beautiful runs of colour down the page. Keep going as much as you like but do be careful it is messy. You may want to use extra cardboard or newspapers to stop any splatters on the table or walls. When you're done remove the saucer and the tape. And there's our rainbow coloured rain artwork. Pretty cool huh? For this one we'll need an array of coloured acrylic paints. I'm mounting some paper onto a piece of cardboard again 
Then, starting with red, squirting a blob out onto the page. Go through the spectrum of rainbow colours until you have a line which looks like this. Next, take a piece of card and use it to drag the paint out across the page into a rainbow design like this. If you miss any areas, you can go over it again. It's really satisfying to do. Some come out better than others. And it's a great one for you to do with your kids. If you have excess paint on the card, you can spread it over a clean page. For the last one, we're going to use skittles to make a rainbow on a plate. You can organise your skittles into groups of colours around the rim, like this. Then pour water onto the plate and watch what happens. The colour bleeds off the coating of the skittles and forms a beautiful pattern. You can experiment with a whole host of different designs. But for this one, I'm laying out a rainbow design on the plate to see what happens. Just add water and watch. Pretty colourful, huh? It looks great, and it's a fun experiment you can show your kids. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see how to make this really cool rainbow pen, you can click on the links. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.